Hey guys, so uh, we're back at it again today. Uh, so these are the stocks we're going to be looking at. Um, not all at this moment, but uh, you can kind of see what we've done. I'll just kind of hang out on this screen just for a little bit. You can see uh, what the colors indicated here on the right. And uh, you can just kind of see what we're looking at. And I'm going to update this a little bit while we're here. Um, so I'm changing these to blue because I did actually follow through and buy some of these today. Um, uh, but that's kind of where we're at. I, I would say in the moment, uh, I, I haven't seen what these stocks have done in the past like day or two, but uh, Google would be a good one. AMD, Tesla, and CRISPR all seem to be at a fair value today. So, uh, But this video, what we're gonna look at is end phase. I, I keep hearing about them, so I want to uh, set something up for this one. So I have the chart here on the on the screen. So this is end phase for the past three years. And if you're not familiar with what I'm doing, uh, it's just a brief technical analysis. Uh, I do want to get into this one. They're in the energy sector, so I kind of um, I'm just interested in them. So once again, this is the past three years, and what we're going to do is just set up a five line system. Sometimes I use six lines, but um, primarily just five lines. And these five lines that I'm drawn in, uh, number one is just like, where's the peak for the stock, which for this one looks at about 337. Uh, a low that I would say for this one, uh, this one's, this one's just seemed like, seems like it's on the up and up, but I guess a low for this one like 116 I, I'm tempted to put it all the way down here just because it's grown so fast uh, but I guess the low for this one seems like it's about 116 so now if I put in a couple more lines I'm looking at a good time to sell and once again because this one is such uh, a high value stock it seems like um, we'll kind of I guess let's just set up some lines first and then we'll kind of dive into what we're seeing here. So uh, the green the green line is going to be the time to buy. So actually that should be a little bit, that should be down here. And the red one seems to be like uh, a good time to sell. Uh, this one's going to be a pretty condensed chart. Uh, so once again, this is, each bar is a week. And if I'm looking at this, uh, I guess a good time to sell would be like right around here, 307. Um, yeah, 307 seems good. It obviously could go above that. Um, but, and then as far as a good time to buy, uh, right around here, I suppose, would be like a really good deal, like 150. It's currently at 200, so it's on the lower end. Um, and then at this fifth line, this is my like intermediary line. So if you can get it below the blue line, I would say that's pretty good. You know, uh, it's almost like it's on sale. And if you get it above the blue line, it's almost like uh, you, you might have got overcharged for that one. Uh, but it all depends because, you know, clearly this one's been going up for a good while now. So, you know, if we would have done this using, say, 2019 to 2022 data uh, you know you might have bought it above that blue line back here or somewhere and it still is turning out to be a good deal for you but uh, we're just working with the past three years and uh, maybe as we get into this maybe I'll start to fine-tune it into just one year but for right now we're just keeping it simple just so I can kind of see a good time that I'd be interested in getting in uh, so this green line I'm just, I put it in there just because it seems like it was a steady floor for a while. It did break it, but it came back within a month. Uh, then it came back, tested that line, wouldn't go below it. Then it came down, did break it, uh, only for about a month. And then it hasn't dropped below it since. And that was back in about one year ago to the date. And then this red line, 
you know, I could say up here, it hit its head there, couldn't recover for about six months. And then, but then up here, it's hit its head once. It went above it once, came immediately down to that blue line. Um, and I'm not sure about the blue line yet, but, and then again, it popped above. Yeah, this, this seems like a decent sell time. Maybe even down here would be a decent sell time. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the green line for sure. The red line, I guess, uh, like I said, I, I could maybe even drop it down to 270, but um, 307 is like a good, a, a definitely a solid time to sell this one, especially if you can get it around 150. That's 100% return, and hopefully not that long of a time, maybe like less than a year. That'd be great. Uh, but as far as this blue line, I guess a couple spots I would look at is like right around here, maybe like 227. Uh, that's kind of in between these lines, not halfway, but I'm looking at that line because it seems like it hit its head here back in 2021, early 21. And then uh, it wouldn't go below that line back here more recently in October, it came close a couple times in like June and April of 21, it came close. Um, and right here it kind of hovered. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm okay with this line. Uh, I could probably, eh, that's, that seems about right. 227 is my kind of blue line. Uh, so currently it's at 204. Uh, it's definitely below the line, so it's on sale in my eyes. Uh, so it wouldn't be a bad buy, I think. Me personally, I don't. I'm willing to wait until it gets closer to this 150. Um, if I were to look at it even closer, maybe another point would be if it dropped below 191. So I might just draw in another temporary line, another blue one. Uh, so this will set up a six line system here if it currently it's in this like middle ground area so uh, it could easily reverse back and go up uh, or it could come down and i'm basing that off of you know it hung out in that range for a good month it broke below stayed below for a while broke above uh, i guess that's not really a good one here's one where it hovered in that range um i i guess we can go back to this one so uh, here, when it was in that range, it broke above for a little bit, and then hung out here again for about two weeks. Then it broke below that line, so time to actually buy it. And then it hung out in that range for about two weeks, broke below. Hung out in this range for about a month, maybe six weeks, and then it actually broke above. And now here we are again in that line. So uh, in terms of the past, it's broke below once. Uh, it did touch it here a little bit back in, what, August of 21, broke below again. Um, here's one where it broke above. So we have, we'll say one solid one where it broke below, uh, one solid one where it broke above, a second one where it went below, and then a second one where it went above. So it's really two to two when you're in this range. Uh, so right now it seems like it's on a downtrend. So I would imagine it's probably going to break below that 191 mark. And if it does, uh, I'm going to be looking to get in close to 150. But you know, if it was at 160, sure, I'll I'll pull the trigger on a something. You know, one, two shares, something, just to have a position in this one. Because overall, it seems like it's on the up and up, and uh, that's what we like in a company. So for now. Not going to hold it. We'll just kind of, I'm going to update my spreadsheet while you kind of look at this. Uh, so currently it's 204 and we're just using whole numbers here. If I were to buy, it'd be 148 and a sell point would be 307. And then today, okay, so uh, just to summarize, this is kind of where we're at. This is that spreadsheet that we were looking at at the beginning. So for this one, you know, I'm not gonna add a color to it. Um, it's right in the middle of the range. I don't think it's 
very close to the 150 that I like, so I'm not going to give this one a color. Um, it's still too much in the middle, but maybe in a week or two we'll look into it. So, um, yeah, so that's that wraps up this. Um, you know, let me know your thoughts, and um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. So, bye guys.